Hello everyone and welcome to a new cosplay walkthrough. So the plan is my birthday is coming up in August and so I'm going to be going to Disneyland and Universal Studios with my friend Sam. So being a huge Mario fan it's fairly obvious why I'd want to go to Universal Studios and I thought it'd be fun to make a Daisy themed outfit for that day. So my idea for Universal Studios doing the Super Nintendo Land thing is to obviously do a Daisy themed outfit since Daisy is my favorite Mario character um, and they even have the little Daisy wristbands that you can get so I'm definitely gonna be getting one of those. I wanted to do like a cute little summer dress themed after Daisy so pretty much like her regular dress like her default gown but not a gown just like a cute little summer dress so just making it basically shorter but still have the same kind of design i don't know if that will be too costumey we're gonna have to see or if it if it can pass as more of a bound kind of deal i'm obviously not gonna have any like accessories so i i might do like a casual little crown um i might do the earrings, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards no, because I don't want it to be super costumey. So it'll probably just be my natural hair with a little dress and some shoes. Um, and then that will just be, that'll be it. But we will see, we'll see what I decide. But anyway, all that said, let's get into it. Okay, so first I started by cutting off the bodice. For the bodice, I'm using McCall's M6989 as my pattern. Then I ironed out all of my pattern pieces. You're technically supposed to do this before you cut everything out, but I don't do that. Then I ironed out all my pattern pieces and started sewing them all together. And I went over all of my seams with a zigzag stitch to keep them from fraying. Then I pressed my seams and then I moved on to the sleeves. For the sleeves, I'm using Simplicity 2827 because that is a puff sleeve pattern and puff sleeves are super easy to do. So you can totally take this pattern and apply it to different patterns without any problems. So I went ahead and gathered both sides of the sleeves. And then I went and made the cuffs for the sleeves. Hers are scalloped, so I just used this white fabric and cut out the scalloped edge. I sewed those right sides together and then turned them inside out and ironed them and then top stitched them. And then I just went ahead and sewed the one side of the sleeves to the cuff and then I sewed up the sleeve and set it into the armholes of the bodice. Then I went and made the collar so I did pretty much the exact same thing. I had to pattern out the collar myself but I just kind of winged it and did the exact same process that I did on the cuffs with the sewing it right sides together, top stitching it, etc, etc. And then I sewed it to the collar of the dress and then top stitched it to keep it down. Uh, wasn't totally sure what I was doing here, but I think it came out okay. Then I cut out my skirt. I cut out three panels and the skirt pattern that I'm using is actually different from the bodice pattern. It is once again, Simplicity 2827. Um, I did that because I knew it would be a nice, big, poofy princess skirt and that's what I wanted. So I cut everything out, ironed, sewed it all together and then went ahead and started on the stripes. So here I am cutting out the stripes out of orange. And then I pretty much just made them into like big pieces of, of bias tape. That's pretty much what I did. I just um, ironed the two sides back. And then what I did is I took the edge of the fabric and sandwiched it between one of the folds of the orange band as you can see here and then i pinned all of that down sewed it down and then i sewed a piece of fabric like a yellow piece of fabric with the stripe sewed onto it onto the bottom of the skirt so i'm basically adding this extra panel to the skirt hopefully that makes sense the way that i am describing it. <laughs> then I worked on the peplums. So this is my first time actually making peplums and I was very confused by the pattern. This again is from Simplicity 2827 and I just cut everything out and then did a nice rolled hem on the edges. So rolled hem is where you fold it over once and you fold it over again to make a finished edge. So there's no fraying and no like raw edges uh, visible. Then I base stitched the peplum and base stitched the skirt and then I gathered everything. For the peplum, you actually gather the rounded edge and then the, the straight edge is actually like your finished edge, if that makes sense. That really threw me for a loop, but I just put all my trust in the pattern and it all worked out, thankfully. Um, but that really threw me for a loop. Then I pinned the peplum to the bodice and sewed it on. And then I did the same thing to the skirt. I just pinned and sewed it on over top of the peplum. Then I added a zipper, sewed everything up. And then I had to make some alterations because um, the pattern doesn't fit me super well in the bust. So I had to go in and take some of my seams in. Um, so that's just what I'm doing here is just taking things in a little bit. 
Then I added a clasp. Is it a clasp? It, is that, that's probably not what you call it. Um, I added one of these things for the daisy, which I reused from my Racer Daisy cosplay. It is just made out of foam, so it's very simple to make. Then I went and I made this crown, and I'm not super sure how I feel about it. I wanted to make kind of like a casual crown, not like a formal one like I have for my cosplay, but I'm not sure if I'll actually end up using it, and I don't show it off in the final reveal, so I'm not really gonna go too deep into how I made it, but this gives you a bit of a gist if you wanna make something similar. And all that said, it is now time for the reveal. Okay, I'm like right at the edge of like a little step. So hopefully I don't fall backwards and like hurt myself. That would be ideal if I didn't do that. So hello everyone. So here is um, the final dress. Um, you can't see it because we're in landscape, but you, you get the gist. Pretty pleasantly surprised with how this came out. Are there some things that I wish were different? Absolutely. It's a little bit long. So if we, so if we just zoom you guys out here, it is, oh, you can't really see it. Never mind. Is that where I had the camera? I don't know. It comes to um, under my knees and I was hoping it would be um, a little bit above my knees. This is just because I was stupid. I went to like make the, the second hem of the dress because it's supposed to look like she has two skirts. I just made one skirt but made it look like it was two skirts. Um, so when I added that extra bit on to make the, the second skirt, I didn't take into consideration the fact that I would make the skirt longer, which um, was a huge oversight on my part. I still think it looks really cute. It sits more like a kind of tea party style dress rather than a cute little summer dress, which was not what I had anticipated, but I, you know, it's my bad. Like I should have taken into consideration the fact that making obviously an extra hem was gonna make it longer. So um, that's just a little thing that I, for some reason didn't like put two and two together at the time, but like, whatever, it's fine. It's made now. I can't like change it and you know, that's okay. The tailoring that I did to it. So now that I have gained weight, I have to use uh, the biggest size of the pattern that I have. Um, for the sake of my waist, but everything else is smaller. My bust and shoulders and everything are smaller than what that pattern allows for. But in terms of like the waist, my waist is big enough, if that makes sense. So like it fits well in the waist, it fits really like snug in the waist, but then in the bust, it was really loose. So I had to take it in a little bit just to make it fit more snug. And I think overall, it looks okay. You'll see it does sit like a little bit weird. We have like that and like some little wrinkles in here. I'm not really used to making those kinds of alterations because I'm used to using patterns and them fitting me like perfectly. Um, so that's just something I have to get used to and kind of have to hit that learning curve basically. So those are the things about the dress that I wish were a little bit different. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with it. I think it's absolutely adorable. And I think this is a really great test run before I make her um, actual ball gown because I am not experienced with making ball gowns. I don't know what kind of a hoop skirt to buy and I'm not sure how I'm gonna have to alter the skirt of the pattern in order for it to accommodate the hoop skirt. So those are some things that I have to kind of figure out some logistics that I have to see about before I start making it. But I think for like a test run of like what making her dress is like, this was a really great experience. So I'm really grateful for that. And I can see myself using this obviously as a like a cosplay, not just like a bound. Um, in terms of using it as a bound, I personally think it's too costumey. Um, obviously for the sake of this reveal, I'm wearing my like proper crown, my proper earrings, um, and a petticoat and my wig. Um, and the gloves. If I do wear this to Universal, I will not be wearing those. It will literally just be the dress with my natural hair and some makeup and then the shoes, which are these orange Converse. I hope that that will look more like a bound than a costume because right now, obviously it looks very costumey because I've, I've presented it as a cosplay for the sake of this video. But like hopefully without the petticoat and without like the accessories and everything, it will look less costumey. I did, like you guys saw, make a crown to go with this outfit. And so I made it kind of more of like a casual looking crown. Um, I don't know if I like it. I'm not really sure. I have to do a full test run with everything on and see like how I feel about the crown, but I might just forego it because again, it will make it look more costumey and it kind of doesn't look very good to be honest. So like, 
I don't want it to like detract from this dress that I've made basically. Um, so yeah, so those, ooh, this was crooked the whole time. Whoops. I also super quick want to show you guys this bag that I got to go with this outfit. Look how adorable that is. It's, it's so cute. I was going to get the Luigi one to like match Daisy, obviously, because they're a couple, but the Luigi one, the font on the L looked really bad. Like it was just, it looked like a Times New Roman L rather than a Mario L and it just did not look good. Um, so I went for the Mario one. So this is a little bag that's going to go with my outfit. So yeah, so overall I am feeling pretty good about this cosplay. Are there things that could be improved upon? Yes, but am I going to change them? No, because I'm very tired. I had fun. I learned some new things. I think it's it came out really cute. So I think that's all I can really ask for. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I guess that's it. I guess that's all I have to say. I will see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.